So as you move forward into 2019, how does social media play a role into what you're trying to accomplish, whether it's from a personal brand standpoint or to build out your business or help your business expand? How does social media provide an impact? So I'll, I'll, let's get a basic understanding. One thing about social media is disruptive communication. It's changed the way that we communicate. So think about all the money that these uh, social media companies have invested in self-publishing. So you look at IG stories or Facebook stories or Snapchat or YouTube Live, it's changed the way that I'm able to communicate with you, that I can create something in the moment and instantly distribute it to you for you to follow it or give, give me feedback regarding that. Emojis has uh, shortened the way that we communicate with one another. So I can give you a thumbs up as opposed to saying, that's great. Or I can give you a 100 to show you that I'm in agreement with something that you stated. The hashtags, hashtags have allowed us to have different communication with a wide array, a wide audience of people from different subjects. So you can get with a subject matter expert or someone that's newly entering, is entering into this subject but that has a certain depth of perspective that you may want to continue to communicate or follow that person. So it's changed the way the linguistics of communication. We can communicate now within 140 characters and it doesn't actually have to be grammatically correct as long as I'm able to you communicate that information to me and I'm able to receive and understand and give you feedback back. It's changed the, the, the semantics of certain levels of conversation. From a business standpoint, that's particularly when social media began to come on to came into play, a lot of brands didn't know exactly how it would play a role or where they would have to maybe pivot in terms of their communication strategy. But one thing is for sure that we knew it was something impactful and profound because it allowed self-identification. So previously brands would spend a lot of money on radio ads, TV ads, or print ads, or within a newspaper, throwing a dart within a, a dark room and hoping that it hits a target. Social media now, we know who that audience is. We know that this is a certain demographic that we're reaching. We're able to see who that person is. We can engage with that person. That person can interact with some of our messages that we're sending out. So it's enabled self-identification like, like we've never experienced before. But with that, it comes a certain level of responsibility. So one thing is, when you do create your profile, understand that it is free to create it, but it's not free to actually manage that relationship, that you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time and effort to nurture that type of relationship. And in order to uh, have that conversation, it is gonna cost you that you won't be able to just get on there and create five million or 10 million, you create a campaign to galvanize and get all these different people. You're not necessarily gonna reach all that five million or 10 million people that you're gonna probably reach 10%. At the most, really now, we're starting to see that it's like one, maybe 3% of that people that you're gonna reach in terms of all that work, you hard work that you've created. And in additional videos, we'll talk about the street tax of social media. Lastly, social branding is something that we've really seen that uh, came to play within this last year or so. Uh, particularly as uh, we've seen politics infiltrate almost every aspect of our daily lives. Uh, so we're seeing that uh, these are hardened views that are being polarized and galvanized by different aspects of the subjects of people. And now that your brand is on this social platform, that your mission, your vision, your values are all going to be coming to play and people are going to see exactly where you stand on certain issues. So, for example, we've seen Nike take a stance with Colin Kaepernick and we've seen that there was a huge amount of uh, support that came regarding this campaign, but then at the same time, we've seen that there was a huge amount of backlash regarding uh, the stance that Mike Nike took. So as you go forward in 2019, that your brand may be tested by certain things that you say or state. And where do you stand regarding that when you do a backtrack or is it something that you'll be able to withstand the test of time? So that's something to think about as you move forward in 2019 as well. This is the Marketing Minute. This is your big homie, Rob Black Jr. I'll check you out on the other side of your goals.